go turn my steps to the altar of God The gladness of my life Show your justice in pleading my God Let me walk in the way of your love I will turn my steps to the altar of God The gladness of my life Lead me on with your power and strength And my courage will never be spent I will turn my steps to the altar of God the gladness of my life Fill my heart with your truth and your love As I enter with joy in your sight I will turn my steps to the altar of God The gladness of my life My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, we shall offer this Mass for Divyavani TV, Corpus Fund Donor, late Marinedi Prakash, for the repose of his soul. Mass offered by Mrs. Marinedi Philomena, M. Jyoti, M. Sudhakar, M. Madhu Babu, Vasanta, M. Arogya Babu, M. Preeti, M. Ravi Kumar, M. Anita. Today's Rosary, Divine Mercy Chaplet, the Word of God, Holy R are also offered for this family and for their intentions. Along with these intentions, let us also pray for our own personal intentions. In a special way, let us pray for all those who are suffering from coronavirus. Let us pray that the compassionate Lord may completely remove coronavirus from our world and keep us safe in this world. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, today we are keeping the memory of St. Aloysius Gonzaga, a young saint who died at the age of 23 in a noble family, completely devoting himself to the service of the poor while serving the sick. He gave up his life for the Lord. As we remember this saint, we are called upon to imitate the devotion, imitate the love for our brothers and sisters and not be ready to judge them or to condemn them but to love them like our Lord Jesus Christ and serve them in our life so that we may be rewarded by our Lord Jesus Christ as St. Aloysius Gonzaga. Let us pray through the intercession of this saint that we may truly understand the purpose of life and not go after the things of this world and not go in amassing the things of this world but to leave everything for the love of the Lord and for the love of our brothers and sisters. As we begin this Mass, let us call to mind our sins and ask the Lord for pardon and strength. I confess to Almighty God and, and to you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, to my, my most grievous, grievous fault. Therefore I ask Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. 
May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. O God, giver of heavenly gifts, who in St. Aloysius Gonzaga joined the penitents to your wonderful innocence of life, grant through his merits and intercession that though we have failed to follow him in innocence, we may imitate him in penitence through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis, chapter 12, verses 1 to 9. The book of Genesis, chapter 12, verses 1 to 9. The Lord said to Abraham, Go from your country and your kindred and your father's house to the land that I will show you. And I will make of you a great nation, and I will bless you, and make your name great, so that you will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you, and him who curses you I will curse. And by you all the families of the earth shall bless themselves. So. Abraham went as the Lord had told him, and Lot went with him. Abraham was 75 years old when he departed from Haran. And Abraham took Sarai, his wife, and Lot, his brother's son, and all their possessions which they had gathered and the persons that they had gotten in Haran, and they set forth to go to the land of Canaan. When they had come to the land of Canaan, Abraham passed through the land to the place of Shechem, to the yoke of Morak, at the time the Canaanites were in the land. Then the Lord appeared to Abraham and said, To your descendants I will give this land. So he built there an altar to the Lord who had appeared to him. Thence he, he removed to the mountain of mountain on the east of Bethel and pitched his tent with Bethel on the west and I on the east. And there he built an altar to the Lord and called on the name of the Lord. And Abraham journeyed on, still going towards the Negev. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. to God. Your response shall be, They are happy, the people. They, they are, are happy, happy the, the people. people. The Lord has chosen as his own. The Lord has chosen as his own. They are happy whose God is the Lord. The people has chosen as his own. From the heavens the Lord looks forth. He sees all the children of men. Your response. They are happy the people. They, they are, are happy, happy the, the people. people. The Lord has chosen as his own. The Lord, the Lord has chosen as his own. Our soul is waiting for the Lord. The Lord is our help and our shield. May your love be upon us, O Lord, as we place all our hope in you. Your response. They are happy, the people. They are happy, the people. The Lord has chosen as his own. The Lord has chosen as his own.
your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to saint matthew glory to you o lord chapter 7 verses from 1 to 5 gospel according to saint matthew chapter 7 verses from 1 to 5 jesus said to his disciples judge not that you be not judged for with the judgment you pronounce you will be judged and the measure you give will be the measure you get why do you see the speck that is in your brother's eye but do not notice the log that is in your own eye or how can you say to your brother let me take the speck out of your eye when there is the log in your own eye You hypocrite first take the log out of your own eye and then you will see clearly to take the speck out of your brother's eye The gospel of the Lord praise, praise to you Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus judge not that you be not judged Jesus invites all of us not to act like hypocrites while we deal with our brothers and sisters who live around us judging or deciding or trying to evaluate the things which happen around us in our lives is a basic intellectual capacity that all of us possess are given as a gift without this our life will be in danger and we many times we may ruin even our own lives so this is a kind of survival instinct a kind of preserving self self preservation mechanism that is judging the things evaluating the things whether or not a thing or a person is good for us useful harmful etc and etc and that is how all of us are able to go on with our lives in this world through judging through deciding through evaluating and through preserving our life through this faculty through this capacity we are able to preserve our lives but then if we are not careful if we do not pay proper attention the same capacity the same possibility which allows us enables us to preserve our life 
which enables us to survive in this world may also cause our own ruin, may also cause damage in our lives because of excessive use of this instinct, excessive use of this ability to judge, to evaluate, to decide the things in our life. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, when we, instead of judging, instead of evaluating the people or the things of this world, for a happy life, for a life which is peaceful, when we start judging or evaluating others in order to dominate, in order to make ourselves great among others, then our, our own life becomes miserable. Because we ourselves separate ourselves from others, we want to make ourselves authority among others, we try to keep our others inferior to us by judging others, by passing judgments on others, saying such and such a person acts this way, such and such a person behaves this way, this is unacceptable, this is not good, this cannot be right, etc., etc. And this excessive judgment leads us to be left alone in this world and our own life becomes miserable. And so our Lord Jesus Christ wants all of us, invites all of us not to judge, not to pass judgment because the Lord is the only one who judges. As we read in the book of Isaiah, chapter 33, how it is declared that the Lord alone is the judge in verse 22. For the Lord is our judge, the Lord is our ruler, the Lord is the king and he will save us. He does not judge us to condemn us, he does not rule us to condemn us, to have dominion over us. His purpose of being a judge, his purpose of being the ruler, his purpose of being our king is to save us from this world, to save us from the death. And that is the reason why we read again in the Gospel according to St. John, the famous verse, chapter 3, verse 16, as Jesus is being sent into this world, Jesus Christ has become the Savior of this world because this is how God the Father plans for all of us in His love, in His compassion, in His mercy. For God so loved the world that He gave His only Son, that whoever believes in Him should not perish but have eternal life. For God sent the Son into the world not to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through Him. He who believes in Him is not condemned. He who does not believe is condemned already. So this is the reason why our Lord asks us not to judge others because the way we judge others, the way we measure regarding others' life, also the measure that we receive from the Lord. The way we judge, as soon as we start judging, as soon as we stop loving them, as soon as we stop serving them, we become or we make ourselves 
authoritative. We make ourselves in the place of God and that is how we ourselves try to elevate ourselves among others and that is how the Lord tells us it is the same judgment that we also receive. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, let us pray today in a special way that we may be completely cleansed of this hypocrisy, that we may learn to love our brothers and sisters as God loved us, as God has not judged us, as God has not condemned us, we may also love our brothers and sisters. We may not condemn them. We may not separate them from ourselves, making ourselves so great, but we may serve them so that we may also receive the reward which St. Aloysius Gonzaga has received in his life. Though he was born in a noble family, in a kingly family, the family of Gonzagas in Italy, he renounced his honors, he renounced all his riches, gave up everything and at the age of 17 entered in the seminary or into the novitiate of Jesuit Congregation Society. And only after serving or after remaining with the society for few years while serving the sick as there was at that time in 16th century at the time as there was in Italy a great plague as he was serving the sick people he also was infected with the sickness and he died at the age of 23. The same person who was very ready, was critical about others, who was very authoritative when he was young. He changed his life, he renounced everything and he was rewarded to be the saint. He was rewarded to receive the honor of being in the heavenly kingdom. And this is the blessing for which God calls all of us as he has called Abraham in today's first reading. God called Abraham to receive the blessing and also to become the blessing. God calls all of us to receive God's blessing and to become blessing for our families, our brothers and sisters around us through our love, through our life of service towards others and this is the key of receiving God's blessings in our lives my dear brothers and sisters and Abraham obeyed God went as God showed him to the land of Canaan built an altar and worshiped the Lord and remained there leaving his own country his own native place he remained in the place where God showed him and that is how he received God's blessings and that is how he also became the blessing for all the people, for all those who believe in God and follow the Lord. Let us pray during this Holy Eucharist that we may also have this life in our lives that we may follow the Lord and give up, renounce, up, renounce judging the people around us, condemning them, being hard towards our brothers and sisters, but follow the Lord in His compassion, in His love, so that we may not be leading a life of hypocrisy, but we may be authentic followers of our Lord Jesus Christ. We may become authentic human beings as we are created in the image and likeness of God so that we may become a blessing to the people around us and we may also receive the blessing as Abraham, as St. Aloysius Gonzaga. Let us pray 
that we may live following the Lord, that we may live an authentic life following our Lord Jesus Christ in His love and compassion towards our brothers and sisters. My dear brothers and sisters, let us pray for our personal needs, for the needs of the church, for the needs of our society, our world. God our Heavenly Father, we thank and praise you Lord. We thank you for gathering us together. We thank you for revealing your word to all of us. We thank you for enabling us, allowing us to participate in this Holy Eucharist. Lord, we ask you to bless Francis our Pope, our bishops, priests, religious, and all those who are engaged in the spread of the gospel, evangelization. Lord, bless them, bless their efforts. Though they face resistance in their lives, in the work of evangelization, that they may remain strong, that they may bear witness like St. Lucius Gonzaga through their service, through their life of witness. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, we ask you to bless all of us who are participating in this Holy Eucharist. Bless us so that we may not live a life of hypocrisy, that we may not jump to judge and condemn our brothers and sisters while we in our own lives do the same wrong things, do the same sinful actions while we have logs in our own eyes. Lord, bless us so that we may correct our lives, so that we may remove the logs from our eyes before we try to remove the specks from the eyes of our brothers and sisters. Lord, help us, bless us, let us become a blessing to our brothers and sisters and to our family, receiving your blessings in our lives by following you, by following the way that you have laid out for all of us through our Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, we ask you to bless Divyavani channel and all those who are working in this channel and all those who are donating for this channel so that the work of evangelization may continue so that the many, many more people through watching and through receiving your word may come to acknowledge you as the only Lord, as the one through whom they have the salvation, the possibility of forgiveness of sins in their lives. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, we ask you to bless all those who are suffering from coronavirus and all those medical personnel and the leaders who are striving to serve those who are infected with this sickness. Lord, bless all of us. Remove this sickness from us as soon as possible so that we may experience your love and kindness and praise and thank you in this world and come to acknowledge you as our God. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. In the silence of our hearts, let us put forth our personal intentions. God, our Heavenly Father, we thank and praise you, Lord. We thank you for making us hear your word. Lord, as we live a life of hypocrisy like hypocrites, while we do lots of wrong things in our lives, we try to correct others while we do not allow ourselves to be corrected. Lord, bless Bless us so that we may 
following our Lord Jesus Christ, we may not jump to judge our brothers and sisters, but love them as you loved us. Be compassionate towards them and serve them so that we may receive the blessings that you reserve for all of us. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Take now the offering thy children may All united for the name sing Heavenly Father, Almighty God We offer you the, the sacrifice Show to us thy mercy, O Lord. Forgive the sins of all our lives. Take thou the offering thy children may all unite for the name's To the O Lord, I joy we give our weariness, work, and our The anxious moment that we live, lighten our burden as we go. Take thou the offering thy children may. All united for the name's sake. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and our good of all His holy church. Grant us, O Lord, that by the example of St. Aloysius, we may take our place at the heavenly banquet, clothed always in our wedding garment, so that by participation in this mystery, we may possess the riches of your grace through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ, for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence by which you call human nature back to its original holiness and bring it to experience on this earth the gifts you promise in the new world to come. And so, with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God our force, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, 
he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me the mystery of faith save us savior of the world for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free therefore as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray the partaking of the body and blood of christ we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit remember lord your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with francis our pope and paul antony our bishop and all the clergy remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face have mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed virgin mary mother of god with saint joseph with the blessed apostles saint aloysius gonzaga and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages we may merit to be coheirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your son jesus christ through him and with him and in him o god almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and ever amen let us pray in the words our savior taught us our father who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy, thy name, name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever lord jesus christ to set your apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever amen the peace of the lord be with you always and with your spirit let us offer each other a meaningful sign of peace lamb of god you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us lamb of god you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us lamb of god you take away the sins of the world grant us your peace Behold the lamb of God behold him who takes away the sins of the world blessed are those called to the supper of the lamb lord i am not worthy that you should enter under my roof but only say the words and my soul shall be healed prayer of spiritual communion my jesus i believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament i love you above all things and i decide to receive you into my soul since i cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally come into my heart spiritually i embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself to you holy never permit me to be separated from you amen
as the deer pants for the waters of my soul longs after you you alone are my heart's desire and i long to worship you you alone are my strength my shield to you alone may my spirit yield you alone are my heart's desire and i long to worship you, you. Let us pray. Bring us who have been fed with the food of angels, O Lord, to serve you in purity of life and following the example of St. Aloysius, whom we honor today. May we persevere in constant thanksgiving through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Prayer to St. Joseph. Hail, Guardian of the Redeemer, Spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to you God entrusted His only Son. In you Mary placed her trust. With you Christ became man. Blessed Joseph, to us too, show yourself a father and guide us in the path of life. Obtain for us grace, mercy and courage and defend us from every evil. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. The loving kindness is better than life. The loving kindness is better than life. My lips shall praise thee, thus will I bless thee. I will lift up my hands unto thy name. Thy lips shall praise thee, thus will I bless thee. Thee. I will lift up my hands unto thy name. The skies are telling the glory of God. The skies are telling the glory of God. My lips shall praise thee, thus will I bless thee. I will lift up my hands unto thy name.